Hey YouTube, this is Wyoming's Alcoholic. I am here today. I wanted to show you guys a quick video. So, um, I got kind of the idea from somebody else, but not exactly because I've done it before in a Honda. This Honda I was working on had a uh, one of those um, switches for the uh, choke that comes off of the block from heat. Um, and it just failed and they just couldn't get it right and it was one of those ones that was kind of just I guess more or less glued or embossed in there so I put a manual choke on it and I have a Toro here that was really making me mad um, I ordered a new uh, automatic choke they come off the exhaust so as the exhaust heats up the spring expands and it basically turns the choke lever and then it operates the choke mechanism on the carburetor well I was trying to customize the because they just don't work with the dam. They choke and then they sputter and then they don't want to come off choke. And even the brand new one and the brand new linkage and everything. So I'll kind of show you what I did here to kind of remedy that. Okay, so as you can see, I went to a full manual. Um, this is just a real cheap kind of choke um, assembly that you can, I think, mean, like eight bucks or something. But I had an, a little L bracket. So. Basically, I just bolted that. This hole is already here, believe it or not. So I just bolted that to this, um, to the handlebar frame. The choke cable is just a tad long, but it's no longer than the other cables that are already on there. So I'll probably bund them up and tidy it up a little bit. But, um, so I used the bracket. As you can see, I had two of them. So this is the old bracket. It used to look like this. Um, like I said, this, this is supposed to operate the top of this. And then, lo and behold, the choke, the top of the choke busted the top of the the uh, butterfly shaft for the choke it busted um, luckily it had this little arm on here that I just basically cut a little hole in or drilled a hole in put a dog leg on the end of this um, got myself one of those uh, just cable clamps that you find on mowers that are anywhere um, they can do choke cable or throttle cable basically it just fixates the cable um, so I trimmed this down a little bit I mounted it to the uh, well, basically, this is just the governor spring bracket. It's very large, and well, I'm glad it was large because I was able to bolt or basically self-tap this into here. So as you can see, when I pull the cable, it comes off, and it goes to full choke. So push it in, full choke. See, it's ready to go. It's full choke, and I pull it out, and we come off choke. So yeah. Um, kind of necessary from what I've seen on these things. These are terrible. So, as you can see, I've already started on both this. I didn't want to take the cover off because it's extra work. But it looks like I'm probably, I don't know, maybe not. So I did get it loose. I'm just going to take those two screws out and I'm done. So anyways, I just wanted to show you the manual choke conversion. I've done it on a Honda before, like I said. Um, kind of got the idea to do a video on one. Because I've seen one today from a guy who was struggling with the same thing, so. Um, anyways, his his carburetor was a little different. He had some croppings here that he could drill into that were kind of generic. This style that I have does not have that, so pretty much I had to come off of this bracket back here with this extended bracket to be able to um, attach the cable to, to come over to this little arm on this uh, butterfly for the choke assembly so i had to do mine a little different um this bracket will be off here so anyways that's it um so i hope this is helpful guys as always uh like and subscribe if you don't mind i do a lot of small engine a lot of hunting um and even some chicken videos so i uh, hope it helped hope it gave you some inspiration to uh convert your uh pain in the butt toro color uh to a uh, manual uh, choke or maybe your Honda as well. So, yep. Anyways, as always, stay classy, Wyoming. Have a good day.